Good morning, good evening, good afternoon to all those around the world. Welcome back to another Dead by Daylight video featuring Spirit. We're running at you guys with an interesting build setup here. We're running Hysteria, Nurses Calling, Sloppy Butcher, and Dark Devotion. Hysteria, if you hit a healthy survivor, you will spread oblivious status to all injured survivors. The game plan for the day is hit and run. Let's see what we can do. All right, guys, let's get up into it. Like I said, we're running Sloppy Butcher, Nurses Calling, Hysteria, and Dark Devotion. For those of you that do not have some of these perks, i.e. like Dark Devotion, or hysteria they can be swapped out but i think the build itself really really values off of dark devotion as well i think dark devotion is one of those staple perks you gotta have there she goes Oof, get that first free tech where are you going though yeah you figure this is a dead zone here you're gonna get caught either way but what happens is dark devotion allows me to transfer my terror radius to my obsession right which is really really solid and at the same time what hysteria allows you to do so let's say I have three survivors that are injured, and that one right there was not injured. As soon as I smack her with Hysteria up, what that allows it to do is give everyone oblivious status who is currently injured. Which, to me, that's fantastic. You're creating so much value and panic throughout you know, the entire team, considering we're playing a hit-and-run playstyle here. Can I get a tag on this? Nice. So considering no other survivor is injured right now, Hysteria doesn't really get value currently in that situation. But it doesn't take long for us to spread it. As you see, they go for this unhooking. We're going straight back to this hook. We're tagging the healthy survivor here just to go ahead and get her a little injured. I'm going to down her again one more time. She does not have borrowed time, so that's good to know. Unfortunate for her, though. We have one down. We have one slugged, two injured, and one up right now. So the best case scenario here is the healthy survivor finishes the gen. Cool. And then we catch her on the rebound as she goes for that, that save and or tries to heal. Got one inside. Feel bad for her. If she makes that heal, though, that's so much value here. She does not make it, which is unfortunate. Unfortunate for her. And I guess it's a win-win, right? Because she's going to go down here. But if she did get that heal off Hysteria with a proc, and I was able to tag her with my with my M1 here, everybody would have got oblivious. I hear a flashlight click click. Okay. This is a game we're playing, right? This is what you want to do with me. I purposely don't slug you. Or... Pick you, put you on a hook, and you come over here and try to flashlight me. All right, hold up. Where you at? Oh, friend. Friend! You see, just when I thought you were going to be a good sport, instead you come over here, try to flashlight me, and then come back immediately for a save. No, no, no. No more Mr. Nice Guy. Now you in trouble. One hook left for you, bud. We're going to let her slug out here. That's fine. So I have one. My obsession is not injured, and I have one more healthy survivor running around here. I'm hoping they come over here and try to pick up this down and or a hook. I'm assuming they're doing a gen. They have to be doing a gen right now, right? That would be the play. Okay, cool. So they finished this gen. I don't know where she went, unfortunately. Huh. All right, cool. So they get the unhook. We all know they're going to be healing over here anyhow. Yep, just picked her up. Definitely healing. Hello. Hello, friends. You know where we're going after. Not the injured one right now. We're going after the healthy survivor. That way, Hysteria procs get Oblivious status to the two other ones that are injured. The really fast guy, huh? Hmm. Interesting name with that slow vault. So we're going to slug her there for a second. We're going to check over here and see if they're healing up on this side or not. No. No one's here. All right, cool. I guess we'll just go back and pick her up then, right? That must be the way. That'll probably be the play here. Go ahead and check this area right fast. All right, cool. No one's in here. We're going to go pick her up. Put her on this hook right fast, and then move on with the day. No one's here either? Cool. That just left you, bud. That's awesome. 10 out of 10. Alright. Get her hooked up. Let's go find your buddies. Where we at? Inside? No? Ooh. Yup, you were in here. It's okay, we got you. Don't worry about it. Going for that unhook? That would be the play here, but you're probably not. Yep, probably not. Didn't think so. Where's your friends? They did go for the unhook. Right next to me, too. That sucks. Nice job. I really don't want to go for her right now, but if she's going to play like this, we might as well just down her. Yeah, I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you're doing there. That was my obsession, by the way. In case you guys don't know. So that means I get undetectable, in which she did not realize. So that means that she was coming straight over here for me. 
I guess, to pick her up. And she didn't realize I was undetectable, so I'm guessing she didn't see me. Which is fantastic, because it hides your terror radius, it hides your red stain, all that sort of thing. We're going to let her go. Hi, friend. What you doing? Where are you going? Oh, you give up? Cool. Thanks. Create that, that quick panic here. She's inside still working on this gen. The best part is they have to do this un or injured or uninjured to get that hysteria spread right here. I believe it's everybody. Where are you going, bud? Where are you going? That's what I thought. One left. Get you hooked up. So she comes out. Tries to get that pick up over the other side, which is fine. She should be able to get it. She should be. Sweet. Now she's out. Awesome. One down. One on hook. Two healthy. Where are we going? What are we doing here? There she goes. Come here, friend. Friend. Where's your flashlight? Click clicks. Where are, you, where are they at? Not today. You can lay there for a minute. Don't do it. Don't do it. What did I tell you? Excuse you? All right. I mean, this is the way you want to play this game? Sure, no problem. Let's get you out of the game first. What's cool part about this is being able to, how you say, smack your obsession allows you to get undetectable status because of Dark Devotion. And you can still carry survivors, you can still hop through windows, go break vaults and all that sort of thing, undetectable, which is fantastic. So at the end of the day, if you're in a chase, like one of these TNL walls, they drop a uh, pallet on you, and you happen to hit your obsession, the one that you're chasing here, you break that pallet, you have no red stain, so they don't know which way you're coming from. You can phase either direction and pinch them off, which is really, really fun. But either way, though, this build in a nutshell is pretty aggressive. So for those of you that like just being chased at all times, this is maybe up your alley. But you literally just have to go around and apply pressure because you don't have gen slowdown. So what that entails is a very, very good team could give you a very hard time, depending on how good you are with spirit. Now, if you are a phenomenal spirit or, you know, pretty good spirit, you should have no issue dealing with some teams. But again, when you get into a, a full, you know, survivor swift, it's very hard to play off of that at the end of the day. But either way, man, this has been Paul's Plays. Hope you guys smash that like button. Join that Discord. Come tell me I suck. It is what it is. We'll catch you guys tomorrow with another spirit video. I'll see you guys later. Stay safe out there. By the way, happy Mother's Day to all you ladies out there. And, you know, your wives. See y'all later.